As an atomic tests video collector, I can't hide my excitement because I recently saw an unexplored film of Nagasaki atomic bombing film at the archives. But the film is only a few tens of seconds. Let us think about it. All people think that there are no other films of Nagasaki atom bombings. The only known original Nagasaki explosion motion picture filmed by Harold M. Agnew. Most documentaries are used from National Archives and Los Alamos National Laboratory. The most complete Nagasaki bombing film published before 2018 remains in the National Archives and Los Alamos National Laboratory. Now the film shows the only public Nagasaki nuclear bomb explosion screen. There are two rolls of film screens in total. Let me introduce this film that was kept by the National Archives. You can see the scene of the mushroom cloud at the beginning of the picture. Now it is a film from the Hoover Archives. There are more flying pictures before the atomic bombing. It is different now, the film of Los Alamos, the picture in flight jumps directly to the bombing screen. You will ask me why these pictures are repeated all the time. I didn't see any new pictures. Now I will tell you these original material, there are some differences. Comparing Hoover and Alos Alamos videos is almost the same. Wrong. Nagasaki explosion film in the Hoover archive. After the flight, there was an extra period that Los Alamos filmed is not picture that has never been used in any documentary. This film should not be taken from the perspective of Dr. Harold Agnew. And the color of the role is different from the film. It was pieced together from other films. We do not know who take this camera to film this footage. Welcome to comment, who shot this film? How many unexposure films of atomic bombing Japanese in the world? Welcome to comment below the channel. More people are welcome to provide your opinion. Who has filmed this film, and this Nagasaki explosion film that has never been used and seen for more than 60 years?